are going to learn some new things in this year in math. Let's see what they are. For that, would you please turn with me in your textbooks to page number 50. So in 50, it says large numbers. Means you are in a higher class, you're going to learn much more. All right. Large numbers. Four and five digit numbers. So we are going to learn about large numbers. So till now, we almost settled four digit numbers. Now we are going to even see four and five digit numbers. Are you excited? Yes, that means you're going to master a lot of new things now. Let's look into your book. Numbers are written using digits. We all have learned that so far, zero to nine. And these are called as Hindu Arabic numerals or the Indian system of numbering. And we all know numbers, numerals are same. When you have to name the number, then we use the writing system where we name it in written words. Okay, so when it is in written words, it is called number names. And when it is in numbers and digits, it's called numerals. Okay, it's easy, right? Numerals and number names. All right, Num numerals are in digits or numbers itself, okay? And number names are written words. Okay, then we again come back to place values. Place values, we have learned there is ones, tens and hundreds. And very uh, mildly, we learned about thousands too. Now we are going to learn about ten thousands, this unit. All right. So ten thousands means there are five digit numbers. All right. So we are also learning that this Hindu Arabic numeral is also called the Indian system of numbering. Okay. Now let's go on and see a number 75834. So how do we write 75834? 75834. So according to what we learned place house, this is ones, this is tens, this is hundred, this is thousand. Wow, we have already reached 10 thousands that is five digit one two three four five okay all right now let's see page number 51 page number 51 look at the blocks when we count the blocks we get a answer it's easy we have learned in previous chapters but let's take a look at one or two so we will just revise in the first one we have 10 ones. You can count it and that's equal to 10 into 10. That is the 10 blocks. Then, and you also know anything in ones is the same number, right? It's the same 10 numbers we get. Next one. 10 into, if the 10 is in the place of 100, then you will get 100. Then the next one is 10 is in the place of 1000, you will get 1000. It goes on and you can see in page number 52 and 53 how we can diagrammatically represent the numbers. 1000, 2000, when there are the entire block will be so when you use many such blocks, you can get the higher numbers. 2000 is 2 blocks and 3000 is 3 blocks, 4000 is 4 blocks and 
goes on. Take a look on the screen, page number 52 and page number 53. So it's a rod system or a bead system. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. So thousand plus thousand plus thousand plus thousand Again, plus thousand, plus thousand, plus thousand, plus thousand, plus thousand, plus thousand. Don't worry, we are done. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten thousands will give. 10 times 1000 will give 10,000, okay? So there are 10 times. Coming down to page number 55, place value house. Did you see the one digit number holds one place, two digit number holds two places, the tens and the ones. Three digit number holds three places, 100, tens and ones and four digit number holds thousand hundred tens and ones and five digit hold ten thousands. Largest one digit number is nine and ten is the smallest two digit number. The largest two digit number is 99 and 100 is the smallest three digit number. Largest three digit number is 999. 1000 is the smallest four digit number. The largest four digit number is 9999 that is 9999 and the small and the smallest five digit number is 10000. And the largest five digit number is 99900 99. So the numbers are getting more and more and the smallest six digit number is 100000 and we call it as 100,000 or 1 lakh. Okay, 100,000 or 1 lakh. Now expanded form, please take a look at page number 57 on your screen. You can see the expanded form of 2,305 and that is 50 and 7. So 2,357. That's how we do the expanded form when it is four digit number. As you look down, you can see the abacus for the same number 2,357. There is two in the thousands, two beads in the thousands, then there is three in hundreds, five in tens and seven in ones. Please take a look with me on page number 58. Thousand plus three. One thousand plus three. Then when it comes to five digit numbers 12,000 plus 12,354. Did you see the change? That is we use a comma and also we use 12,000. Up until now we only use 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Now we are using going into double digit numbers. Then is 15,620. Then the last one 40,230. So when it comes to the thousands we call it according to the number and then we go on. Okay, there are some exercises as we go on just to get 
it more clearer for you. Write the numeral and the number names represented. Let us take a look at the first one. Write the numeral and then the number names. Both you have to do. The first one is already done for you. So, let us take a look at the second one. So, we are going to try the example F. So, that has a 10,002. So, we are going to draw 10, 1000, 100, 10s and once. So, let us see what the beads are saying and then we have to find the numeral and the number name for it. So, there are 4 beads here in the place in the rod of 10,000 and in 1000 there are just 2, then there are 3, there are 4 and then there are 5. Okay, now let us do this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, this is 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digit number. How do we write 5 digit numbers? 42,345. Got it? Okay, so go ahead and finish the exercise in page number 15 and always keep a small notebook with you when you can just scribble and you can uh, write all the uh, sums and the work and then you can write the correct answer once you get it into the textbook. Moving on to page number 60. Write the number names for the given numerals. Let us take a look at one or two examples and then you can continue. The first one is given. So, let us look at the 10,000 one, D. There is 3 in the 10,000, 2 in the 1,000, 0 in the 100s, 6 in the 10s and 7 in the 1s. So, we get the answer. Because it is 5 digit remember 32,067 there is 0 in the hundreds place so we will have to say 32,067 so 32,000 okay 67. 32,067 would be your answer. The next one, write the place value for the digits underlined. So, what are the digits underlined? Let us take a look. The first one is done for us. Let us look at D. In 35,891, the place value of 3 is 10,000. That is right. And in 5827, 5, the place value of 5 is 1000. Okay, so you will write the answers as 5 thousands, 3 ten thousands. Okay, alright. Then the next one is again the place value. Write the given numbers in the place value houses, house, and write their number names as well. There are four numbers that are sets of numerals that are given for us. So, 10,735, the second number is 15,820 and the third number is 38,543. So, all of them are 5 digit numbers and you will need to use the 10,000th place. Alright. So, you remember when you are writing uh, 5 digit number you will always have a comma after 2 after the thousands. Alright, the next one write the numeral and the number name. So, the largest 4 digit number we learnt is 9999. So, the expanded form of the number name is 9999. So, if you really uh, think you need little help take your notebook and write it down in expanded form then it is easy for you to find the number name. Go ahead and finish the rest. We know the 
smallest four digit number is thousand yes right and then the largest five digit number and the smallest five digit number we've learned it but if you if i tell you the answer then it will uh, be easier for you so you can write those as numerals and number names so we were looking at the expanded form the first example is already done for us 5247 so we write it as 5247 which we've been seeing before no problem let's take a look at the five digit numbers so it is 39205 so how do we write it in our textbook 30 30000 9200 0 and 5 so this is the expanded form of this five digit number 39205 then let's look at the next one in your page 28164 For, so, 20,000, 8,000, 100, 60 and 4. So, those are the expanded forms. You can finish the rest and move on to write the numeral in the box. This is also easy. So, let us do the last one. For example, the first one is already done. The last one because it is a 5 digit number. Let us take a look at it. It will be 24,900. That will be your answer. Okay. So, it is easy. If you just remember, here everything is 10,000. That is 20,000, 4,000, 900, 10s are 0. So, then the zeros come here as well. Okay. So, moving on, let us go to page number 62 write the correct numeral in each box. So, the first one is 2004. So, how will you write it? 2004. So, the hundreds and tens are 0. So, this is how you will write 2004. Let us take a look at 9950. So, 9950. 50. Okay, so it's very easy every time. Like I mentioned earlier, just have your notebook and you have you can do the sum and figure it out there, and then come back to the textbook with the right answer. Next one is complete the sequence. We have learned this already, but you know the next one is thirty thousand, then it's forty thousand, then it reaches up till one lakh, or otherwise called as hundred thousand. Next one is ring the number that has more ones. So we have A, B, C, and D. So 4765 and 4753. So we are supposed to see which has, we will put it in the place value itself 4765 and 476, 475. 4753. So, the question is ring the number which has more ones. So, let us look at the ones. This has 5 and this is 3. So, 5 is greater. So, we will or we will ring it like this. Then next one ring the number that has more tens. In the similar manner put it in the place value house and look at it and you will see that in A, the one that has more tens is, is 4895 in the second sum. The next one is ring the number that has more hundreds. Let us take a look at the example A, which has more hundreds, 3620 and 3051, 3620. Okay? Then the next one is more thousands, comparison of numbers. We learned in earlier units that not all numbers are same, some are greater, some are lesser 
and at times some are equal to each other. So we use the symbols, remember the symbols? Greater than, lesser than and equal to. These are the three things we used. So let's take a look at what the rule says. A number containing more digits is a greater number. We learned that. 154 is bigger than 29 because it's, it's, it's easy. 154 is three having three digits and 29 has only two digits. So by the first look itself, we can understand. Now sometimes there are digits that are equal. That is there are two three digit numbers and you are asked to find which is the greater one. Then you have to use step two. If two numbers contain the same number of digits, then the comparison can be done starting from the leftmost digit. For example, let's take 6291 and let's take 5614. That same digit numbers 1234, 1234. So they are both are four digit numbers. So then to find out who is greater, let's start from the leftmost digit okay so we get the answer as we look at the first one itself 6000 is greater this is greater than 5614 let's take an example of 24329 and 14840 both are five digit numbers okay so what's the next step two is you start from the leftmost number and the moment we take from the left we know 24,329 is greater than 14,840 so we are moving on to page number 64 we are seeing ascending and descending order so we know that ascending is when we are ascending up the hill smallest to largest number descending is down the hill like going from largest number to smallest number we've already learned it even in this chapter so we will look at what is the next thing that is there for you to learn successor and predecessor these are two new words you are going to learn. Now, how do we get a successor and predecessor? When we add plus one to any natural number, we get a successor or the one who comes after. Okay, like for example, you can think of kingdoms. Who is the successor? The one who comes after this present king who is the next king. So you can think something which is very easy for you to remember. So it can be the any natural number plus one will give you the successor. Then any natural number when we subtract from it then you get the predecessor. For example, let's take a look at number 99 plus 1 so you get the predecessor of sorry the, the successor of number 99 is 100 now we'll move on to predecessor we will do 100 minus 1 so who is the predecessor of 100 is you will get 99 you can take another example 10 10 plus 1 is equal to, so we call 11 as the successor of 10. Okay, let's take an example of 20 minus 1 will be 19. So what is 19? 19 is the predecessor of 20. It's simple and easy if you just remember any natural number plus 1 is the new number that you get is successor. When you minus 
1 from any natural number, the number that you get is a predecessor. It is easy as that, okay? All right, let us move on. There are some exercises given so we can practice our comparisons that is greater than, lesser than, or equal to. And then there is ascending order and descending order in page number 65. Let us look at page number 66, the successor and predecessor just in case you need one more example to understand it better. Let us take the example, let us take a big number as an example, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So, we want to find out the successor, what comes after? So, simple add plus 1 is equal to 1000. So, 10,000 is the successor of 9999. Let us take an example of predecessor in exercise number 5. Let us take 2, 3, 9, 2, 8. So, we subtract 1 from it, you get 2, 3, 9, 2, 7. So, that is the predecessor. Only a plus 1 and minus 1 you, you will get the answer of who is the successor or who is the predecessor of any given natural number. Okay? All right. Observe this pattern in the sequence and complete the following. A says 1000, 2000, 3000, yeah, you know 4000, 5000. Let us take one more example. 3910, 3920, 3930. You are asked to fill 3 more blanks. So, yes, it is all 10s. Okay. So, the next would be 40, 50 and 60. So, 39, 3950 and 3960. Okay. I hope you have understood it. Let us take an example of a 5 digit number that is 18 to 50, 18 to 55 that is 18,255, 18,250 then 18,260. So, now you are asked to find the 3, 3 succeed, succeeding numbers or sequence. So, 18,265. Always remember this comma, okay? Because it is a 5 digit number. Then next one is 18,270. Did you notice it is all 50? Then after it is, so 5 is the thing there to find out. The 5 num 5s of after that 260, 265, 270 and 275. So, you can complete the rest and also look at the next exercise. Okay, so we have come to the last exercise. Form the largest and smallest four digit numbers with the given digits. The first one is given for you 8, 2, 0 and 9. So, the largest number you can form is 9820. The smallest one is 2080. 9. Can you look at the screen and look at the ones, this next one is 7813 or you can even write the largest number can be 9. That can be the largest number that you can make out of that. And the smallest one that you can make out of it is 1378. So, now that you know, you can go ahead and fill the rest of the sums. So, that brings us to the last exercise which is for you to learn and enjoy. So, you take time to do this and have fun as well. It is very creative and fun elements are involved in this. So, can we just quickly remember what all we studied? We really looked long into large digit numbers or large numbers. So, 
In today's class, we learnt about 10 thousands. We learnt about the ascending order, descending order. We also learnt about successor and predecessor. Okay? So, that brings us to the end of unit 2. Thank you.